you are an author and journalist, and your keynote is called Scatter, Adapt, and Remember How Humans Will Survive a Mass Extinction, which sounds very scary. Uh, the survival part. Wh which part, sorry, is not so scary? The survival part, I think, is not so scary. You know, we, we have a little hope that we can you know, look forward to over the next million years, and that's what I'll be talking about today is just, you know, a little slice of time, a million years, which from the perspective of our Earth, which is 4.5 billion years old, it's just a little bit of time. And so what do you see as, in light of this topic, sort of the single biggest threat to humanity today? Well, probably if we continue the way we're going, climate change is a threat. Historically, uh, previous mass extinctions have been caused by climate change, usually from volcanoes. But there's other threats too, like there could be an enormous solar storm, there could be a supernova that would go off and fry the atmosphere off, we could be hit by an asteroid. So let's not forget, the planet is dangerous. Wow, okay. so. Are you fundamentally then an optimist or a pessimist? Where do you come down on that? I'm an optimist, although I would say I'm a kind of dark optimist in the sense that I think that times are gonna be really tough. I think we're gonna go through some really troubled periods uh, as humans, but I think we will survive. We're fantastic problem solvers. We're good monkeys. We're good at fixing things that we mess up in the long term. But in the short term, things may get pretty grim. So optimist in the long run, but maybe pessimist in the short term. That's sort of reassuring, I would say. Um, so we're asking everyone here, obviously the theme today is innovation in mind. Uh, how, in your words, do you define innovation? I think innovation is learning from previous mistakes and disasters and figuring out ways to mitigate the damage in future disasters. So always looking back, seeing how we've dealt with disasters before and trying to make it so that next time there's a massive tsunami or a huge earthquake, we'll be a little bit more prepared than we were last time. Wonderful. Thank you and uh, good luck with your, with your lecture. And <laughs> anything you want to add about your book? <laughs> It's about what I'm talking about today, so thanks.